Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another anime review. And today I'd like to share my thoughts on Digimon Ghost Game Episode 5, which properly introduces us to Kiro Shiro, hopefully I get the name of the pronunciation right, and his partner Digimon Jellymon, or Jellymon Sama, as she likes to be called. And overall, I thought it was another good episode. Uh, still the Monster of the Week type deal, each episode a new uh, Digimon that they have to oppose. Most of the Digimon they've been going up against, too, have been Ultimate Level Digimon, and of course, the only one that it's Digivolved has been Gamamon into Betel Gamamon, which is only a champion, so that's one step behind Ultimate. So, of course, the fights don't really, you know, end in a decisive victory or anything, and, and it just sort of, uh, you know, the fight goes by rather quickly, but it's still laying out the groundwork for our characters and the whole universe, and I gotta say, I, I like Kirishiro quite a bit. You know, his whole thing is he's He's afraid of everything. He has all these magical talismans. He has his arm <laughs> wrapped up in bandages. And Jellybon, or Jellybon Sama, is like, always trying to scare him. <laughs> and the way that she, like, lured him in to get his Digivice, there was, there was, like, he thought it was blood, but they found out it was, it was ketchup. A message written in ketchup that said, like, here, take this, take the Digivice. And, uh, you know, it was a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff there. So, I'll show you Kiyoshiro, if you... Don't already know. Well, oh, not that. Let's see. We want to get this and go like that. There we go. So here he is. Here's like a close-up of the character. Like you can see right there, his arm is all bandaged up. And this is Jellymon, Jellymon Sama, who first appears, I guess, as like the, the baby form, right? And then transforms into the um, rookie level right here and she has like the the anime fang and is like picking on kiyoshiro too because apparently he's a prodigy child who left for school in america when he was 13 and got his master's degree like holy shit because in america you know you graduate high school you're 18 and then i guess well, by the time you're 24 you should get your bachelor's degree so master's degree would be like 26 so how the hell does he have his master's degree at 13 but he went back to japan because he's like obsessed with anime and manga and jellymon sama is looking at his collection like mocking him and just some funny stuff i got all these screenshots i'm gonna make one of these the thumbnail <laughs> like he's just afraid of everything there's gamamon being his, his goofy self um <laughs> There's Jellymon, like, strangling him. And I mentioned in my last review that Gamamon got these wings. And I thought that it was just for the Halloween special. He had, like, bat wings. But I guess he really does have wings and can fly. And <laughs> there she is again with the, the anime fang and then hacking on the computer. So that's, that's part of the subplot there. So, you know, he's afraid of everything and has all these magical talismans. And he starts hacking into things and, and like, enchanting... So he thinks, like, by hacking, like, hacking in all these talismans so he'll be safe. And he's just a scaredy cat, man. Like, he's walking back to his dorm, and the door creaks open. That's how Jellymon lures him in there. And he's having a panic attack. Like, oh, I thought I locked the door. Why is it opening? And he's like, oh, scaredy cat. But I was dying during this episode. I, I was laughing my ass off, for real. So the main villain of this episode is Major Majiraman. I can't pronounce these names, and especially because it's in Japanese, I have a difficult time because they say, like, the names backwards, you know? But he's one of the Holy Dragons and an ultimate level Digimon, and appears here. And actually, yeah, you had Angoramon using the Analyzer here. And of the three Digimon so far, I, I, I like Angoramon the least. Honestly, just in the one episode I've seen Jellymon, I think she's probably the best, followed by Gamamon, just because he's so cute. Like, he, he's the one who identifies the ketchup on the ceiling. Like, oh, ketchup, ketchup, because he loves food so much. But Angoramon has, like, the Digimon analyzer, and he seems to be, like, the, the wisest of the Digimon. Like, he's wise, very knowledgeable. Gamamon's probably the most powerful of, of the group and always ran for a fight. And then Jellymon is just, like, this smug little... Uh, troublemaker so he's one of the holy dragon digimon and he has three other digimon who are all champion levels going after him you have coltmon or coltolmon like this giant snake there's bitmon another um oh here they are on digimon frontier but bitmon had had like these oh shit what the hell's going on here H had like these um uh, little little things, the horns or whatever that turned into Sipes and was holding Hero hostage. And then Goatmon, another champion level. I guess they, they all appeared in Frontier as well. 
But um, Gamamon digivolves to Betel Gamamon real quick. And again, the fights are, are really short. And he, he can't really do much against Majoramon just because, you know, it's a level above him. So he gets, you know, put to rest. And then it's it's up to Jellymon and Kiyoshiro to, like, hack all the talismans. Because what happened is they, they hacked into all these systems and did something with the money. Like, all the money disappeared from the the computers. And <laughs> Majoramon is, like, in charge of, of looking after the money in the digital world. And is like, oh, you will face punishment from 108 arrows. <laughs> and Jellymon's just laughing, like, oh, that's really going to hurt. And he's just crying. So they're hacking away. And it's funny, too, because as they're hacking, they're like, you know, bang it on the keyboard, like, like in any of those movies with hackers and stuff like that. So, overall, it's pretty fun. And then, in the end there, uh, Kiyoshiro does this thing where he, like, screams, Limit Break! And it's almost like, what the hell, is he a JRPG character? But he does this Limit Break move, which essentially allows Jellymon to activate her big attack to, to stop everything. And they're able to reverse the hacking, and then uh, Majuramon goes back to wherever he came from, and it's it's all happy happy dory so anyway i enjoy this series i think if you're a digimon fan you'll like it it's 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 cute you know i was laughing my ass off of this one so far i, I like jellymon the best followed by gamamon and, and goramon we sort of just saw him in that one episode with roly now like i said he's sort of like the the wise digimon of the group sort of guiding everyone and telling them you know what the deal is looking at the analyzer and all that stuff and uh yeah overall it's a, it's a fun time it's you know 20 minute episodes once a week I think they come out Saturday nights, but, you know, I get to them, like, Monday, Tuesday, just because I'm not Russian, you know what I mean? So, anyway, let me know what you thought if you watched it in the comments down below. Again, you know, the fight's rather short, but I feel like this is still just laying out the groundwork to introduce us to the characters, because we've seen Kiyoshiro in passing, but he, he is not a full-fledged member of the group quite yet, and after this episode, obviously he is. And, you know, he the way he got his Digivice is kind of weird, too, because Jellymon just gives it to him. So where did she, <laughs> she get it? From the digital world, she was just, like, stalking him, like, haunting him. That's why he had all the talismans. So, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day, everybody.